This is the Iowa Weather Report for Sunday, January 27th, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At noon today, we have some energy moving across the middle part of the country, including Iowa, a trough over the Pacific Northwest into the Northern Rockies. And with the southwesterly flow aloft, we'll have warm air coming over the cold air at the surface, so we'll have some freezing rain and sleet and snow, changing to all rain in the southern and western counties, remaining sleet and freezing rain across the northern and eastern counties. And this is what the HPC says here, of one hundredth of an inch of ice or more from through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, and the best chances over the northern and central and eastern counties of the state. Probability is looking really good here. This is of a tenth of an inch or more of ice, and that looks to be the best according to the HPC, east of an Esterville to Des Moines to uh, Keokuk line at that point. And when we move it up to a quarter inch of ice or more through Sunday evening, we see the better chances across the northern in eastern counties of the state, east of I-35 and north of Highway 20. And this even extends here into Sunday evening through Monday evening. We could still see a little bit of ice across well, the northern half of the state, mainly north of about a hmm, Esterville to Des Moines to Clinton line. And even here into Monday night into Tuesday night, we could see a little bit of ice in the northwestern counties of the state as cold air begins to rush back in from the north and west. But heading back to Monday, it'll be warm across the state. There could be a little bit of rain across the eastern counties of the state during the morning hours. Otherwise, it's going to be fairly warm, 30s, 40s, and even low 50s. And then Tuesday, here's when the cold air starts to wrap back in. So we could see some icing issues in the northwestern counties, some rain in the south and eastern counties, maybe a rumble of thunder. That can't be ruled out either. Wednesday, that system is gone. We could see some snow Tuesday night into Wednesday. Too early to tell on accumulations. But Wednesday, it's going to be cold. Temperatures will be dropping into the single digits and teens. And heading Thursday morning, we could be at or below zero again. High pressure to our north and west over the Dakotas. A little bit of snow breaking out well off to our west. That won't affect us. Skies will be clearing by this point, however. And Friday, high pressure will zip down to about near Memphis. Winds start to switch around to the south, but it's not going to get much warmer. Highs in the teens, lows around zero during this time. We head to Saturday. It begins to warm up. Moderation takes place. We'll have highs back in around 20, maybe upper 20s in the south and western counties. Lake effect continues in the Great Lakes. And a week from today, we have a piece of energy coming through the northern plains and the upper Midwest as the flow begins to come more out of the west with a progressive flow. And with this, we could see a little bit of activity around here, maybe some well, sleet, maybe some rain, depending on the surface temperature. So we could see another round of wintry mix if this is right, but we'll have to wait and see. We head further into voodoo territory here on February 7th. We have a big vortex over Quebec, uh, about a zonal pattern around here, a little bit of energy moving through Utah. And at the surface, there could be some snow activity to well off to our west across the northwest and into the Rockies and Wasatch mountain range of Utah. And around here, we'll have winds coming out of the south, if this is right. And at the end of the forecast on February the 11th, a big trough over the east, a big ridge over the west, a northwesterly flow coming out of Canada. And if this pans out, this would bring some cold air back into the state again, but not overly cold. Highs likely, if this is right, in the 20s to near 30, lows in the upper single digits to lower to middle teens. Here's a satellite image from last evening. We had the storm system across the plains and central and southern Rockies moving to the north and east. Otherwise, it was fairly clear across the country at this time. The watch morning map from last evening. A plethora of winter weather issues across the middle part of the country. Some fog advisories down in Texas and some winter weather issues also across the uh, Great Basin in the northern and central Rockies as well. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Thursday evening at 6 o'clock, showing some decent amounts of precipitation around here 
through this storm system, anywhere between about a quarter to a half an inch over the western counties to upwards of an inch and a quarter over the east.